first chapter of the Holy Gospel is recorded by St. John. John writes that Jesus is the Word of God, who in the very beginning was the sounds and the syllables that come forth from the mouth of God by which darkness gives way to light and all things come into being. We're also told that Jesus was the life and light of men, light that no darkness can overcome. And here in just these first five verses, John calls us all the way back to creation as the triune God has taken dust from the ground, made man, and breathed from the mouth of God life into Adam. Go forward to chapter 9 of the Holy Gospel as recorded by St. John, and there's Jesus who sees a man born blind, goes to him, takes the dust of the ground and the spit of his mouth to make some mud, and sends the man to the pool of Siloam. The man washes the wet ground off of his eyes, and his world of darkness suddenly becomes a world of light. This man is at the pool, which John says translates to scent. From there, he is sent to the Pharisees to give witness to what has happened, how he has been saved from blindness and now sees. All right, track this. The only begotten eternal word is sent by the Father into creation as a man, who sees a man who can't see and spends his life in darkness. Then that man sends this other man to the pool called Scent, from where this man who can now see the light is sent to give witness to how he who once sat in darkness has seen a great light, to tell others about the work of God, the great I am in Christ Jesus, the light of the world. Of course, some people don't like the light. I'm not talking about fictional vampires here. The Pharisees did not like the light. You have friends who do not like the light. You most likely have some family members who do not like the light. You can get away with more evil, sinful things in darkness. Light shows how evil and sinful we are. Jesus comes as the light, the light of all men. Not just to expose our sinfulness, but to save us from that sinfulness by his death on the cross there in the darkness of Good Friday and his resurrection into light on Easter. He is the sent one of the Father, who having washed us in the waters of holy baptism, sends us to tell others about him, to invite them to the, come or the, to the place where Jesus is found in his word, in holy baptism in the holy absolution, in holy communion, to save them and us from the darkness of sin and bring us into his marvelous light. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.